Abilene ISD ready to welcome students back to the classroom. And the district has two new campuses ready to open the doors. We got an inside look at the new technical campus and an elementary campus as the final touches were being made. And KTAB's Mercedes Hernandez got the tour before tomorrow's first day. The lift will soon lift off, ready to host Adams and career and technical education students meeting high demand, says AISD superintendent. And the number of kids that we have excited about and enrolled in these career and technical education programs is, is off the charts. Lift principal Jay Ashby led a tour of the 125,000 square foot facility Wednesday. The space that we're looking at here is our culinary arts instructional area. Showing off different careers students can start exploring in high school. This is our TV studio. The building can host up to around 1,200 students, says Dr. Young. The lift drawing interest even from other districts. I have some bad news for my fellow superintendents uh, who have been asking me for months, are we going to be able to get our kids into that program? And My answer has always been, we're going to take care of AISD kids first. Now, the lift is not the only Abilene ISD campus opening its doors for the first time this week, so we're going to head over to the other side of town for a look at Dias Elementary. The new Dias campus is actually right behind the former Dias Elementary, and its principal, Chad Drake, says that same military honoring heritage will carry on into this new facility. From the very beginning, um, our architects helped us think of creative ways to honor the folks in the Air Force, the military, and the kids that we serve. With natural light pouring in from the windows and classrooms overlooking the base, this campus is ready to serve Air Force families next door, says Principal Chad Drake. So most of our kids walk from the base, right, and so there's, they're going to finally have a large path that takes them there. There are a couple of landscaping tasks to finish up, says Drake. But indoors, we're in really good shape. Other than that, the new home for the Dias Jets and the home for the Adams Phoenixes are ready for a roll call. I'm just looking forward to getting started, honestly. In Abilene, with coverage you can count on. Mercedes Hernandez, KTAB News. Thank you, Mercedes. The lift was the cornerstone of the bond project approved in 2018. The cost of the new Dias campus estimated around $20 million.